another year of heavy, noisy, electronic Christmas ornaments. What's up everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. Don't know why I do this to myself, so I had pretty much decided not to do a Christmas ornament this year because I was working on another project which is really cool and I want to release a video which is going to come out really soon. But then I started thinking and I really wanted to do a project with the laser cutter, which I haven't talked about yet. I did have an idea for one and I realized it would be a cool ornament, so I'm going to try and build it. I'm calling it the Reverse Zotrope. Is that how you pronounce that? Let's build it. Let's see if it works. It may not work. And I've only got like one day to build this, so let's get to it. So there's two parts to it. The upper half, which contains a motor and these spinning images. So I threw together this uh, proto board circuit. It's being driven by an Adafruit Trinket M0. And this is a Hall effect sensor, which will detect the magnets as they spin around. These are the NeoPixels, which will light up. And then finally, there's a MOSFET that will connect to a motor through these wires. The way a normal zoetrope works is that you peer through a slit in a cylinder and you can see the image on the other side periodically so it changes and it gives the appearance of an animation. The reason why I'm saying this is a reverse effect is because you're looking directly at the image but you're only putting light on it for a split second so that it lights up. Now in this case I'm actually doing something a little bit different than an animation. I'm doing more like persistence of vision. Okay, hold up. I can tell that this persistence of vision idea that I had is not going to work. The way that these addressable LEDs I think are addressed, they send bits to them to tell them which color to display, changes the time slightly and it's enough to notice it on the slides so the colors don't line up. I think that's the issue. If I was using non-addressable LEDs you could probably make this work perfectly but I don't think the persistence of vision is going to work. So I'm going to switch it up, I'm going to do some animations like I was supposed to originally, and it's going to be cool. Okay, I got one more design to try, and I'm calling it quits. It's 3 a.m. You knew that was coming. All right, everyone, I think that's as good as it's gonna get before Christmas. I'm kind of out of time, and I think it worked pretty well. I'm happy with what I was able to accomplish in this short amount of time, and I got to use my laser cutter for something cool. I think it's a pretty cool concept, so I'm gonna pursue it further in not ornament form. Probably some desktop display type item. It's pretty cool and it actually does work well. I think there's an issue with one of the magnets or my programming and I definitely won't be using NeoPixels. Nothing addressable. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget the notification bell. And as always, everyone, be good and happy holidays.